Somebody let me know. Are you hiding? Hmm? Are you hiding? Are you hiding? Are you hiding? Are you hiding? I was making a dramatic, um, What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host, Tanea. Hey, guys. And we are back with an all-new Scandal review. It is not Thursday. We did not record last night because I just, I mean, it's just too much going on right now. Right. You know? And it's really hard for me to focus on TV. Like... I haven't really watched any of my shows this week. You wanna watch Am I Night? Friday night. Friday night. Did you see Friday night? Did you see Friday night? Did you see Friday night? Did you feel my wound embrace? No, actually, it's very cold. Um, so I haven't gotten to watch any of my shows really. And last night I was watching Scandal, but my friend was on the phone. Then my other friend got on the phone, and then it was just it was too much going on. Like I was. It was too much going on. I wasn't on the phone. You were on the phone. Mom. You were on FaceTime, and then you were like, you only got one minute, and then I had to um, text you. Oh. Yes, both of you are definitely were rude last night. Right. But that's all right. That's why I don't watch TV with my friends, but it's fine. So, um, so, yeah, so I'm here because I got to watch it today at work. I wanted to be able to... Ain't that some shit? I don't need to have the name of the damn episode. Mm. I wanted to be uh, fully prepared and know what I was talking about because I'm going to tell y'all some real shit, okay? When I was watching it last night, I didn't know what was going on for a moment and I literally clocked the fuck out because after I heard something about Jake, I just was like, no. Nope. And I just, I kind of just, you know, my mind... It just, I don't know. Where is it? Mom called fish from the head, put his down, the miseducation, thwack, till death do us part, buckle up. Yeah, that's what it was. And what episode was this? 519. Episode 519, buckle up. Yeah. There's only two more episodes? Yeah. Only two more episodes to the uh, season finale, but yeah, like I said, I heard something about Jake and I got pissed. And I'm going to tell y'all something. My mother today was like, um, she, every week she keeps like, she's like a week behind on Scandal. So like last night she watched the one when Andrew died. And she was like, at this point, I don't even know if I'm going to watch it because it's just too much going on. And Shonda, I really feel like it's too much going on. Like, right. I just don't understand where this Jake shit came from. I'm really not understanding how all of a sudden Olivia Pope is in love with Jake. Jake. It's blowing my mind, okay? I don't... Or are you telling us that she was in love with Jake the whole time, but she was too blind to see because she was also in love with Fitz? Like, come on now, come on. Wait, I, I mean, this one looks amazing. This one looks better than this one. I mean, this one looks better than this one. Sorry. But, um... Yeah, I just... I can't get with it. Like, I, I already told y'all that I really couldn't stand no more of the back and forth. And, okay, now we're at the back and forth. Now Jake is married... And there's a possibility that Olivia Pope could possibly be a mistress again? No. Yeah, like, I'm not, not going to make this. her be a mistress again. I'm not dealing with this. So at this point, I'm going to be totally honest with y'all. I'm actually excited that the finale is coming up. And that's the first time I can ever say that because I just need Shonda to go back to the drawing board and really think out season six because it's probably going to be the last season. And I need her to do it right. Like... Like I said, I know that it doesn't have to be your lips all the time, but I need somebody to help me understand where Jake is coming from again. I don't get it. Oh, like, somebody's going to have to make me understand Olivia's thought process of wanting men that are not um, available, fully available. Um, yeah, because it's, it's weird. Because the thing about it is, granted, like, everybody in the world does, every woman in the world doesn't want to get married and have a family. That's not the fantasy to everybody. But I don't know one woman who really, really wants to always just be the side chick and not have a man or other fully. Everybody wants somebody to be their somebody. The, the craziest part about it is 
All this time we've been trying to get Liv to not be the side chick. Fitz finally divorces Melly and then she leaves. So the side she that that that's that what, blows my mind. That's what Shonda did. Fitz like, that divorced his off, wife honestly. and then Liv decided that she was no longer interested. I'm confused. It I'm I'm off. very confused, but whatever. Um so this was basically the Abby and Olivia poop show, which y'all already know. Abby is already on my bad side, so it was just like, you know, I don't know how things are going to go. Like, from the minute the episode came on, it went straight into Abby and Liv talking to the press about some of the recent debates because Melly had won, and they're basically just trying to tank each other, and the White House and Abby think that Susan is the better candidate, Olivia Pope and Associates thinks that uh, Melly is the better candidate, Hollis Doyle is actually in third place right now, which is a good thing, which takes me back to I really don't know who I want to be the president out of Susan Ross and Melly. Even though Melly gets on my nerves, I really, I don't know. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I was listening to what the governor was saying to um, David last night, and he was just like, you know, Melly's a bitch. Like, I really just feel like she can handle this. Like, I feel like she might be able to handle this, just seeing, like, the stuff that she's been doing so far. Susan's too... I don't even know the word See, for See, the thing is, Susan is a person that we... that I mean, it's not real. But Susan is the type of politician that you really need as the president right. because she's going to do the right thing. But you have to also remember the president never really and fully gets to do what they want to do. Yeah. A lot of things have to be voted in. So let's say she becomes a president and it's something that she doesn't want to do, but it gets voted in for her to sign it or to do it. How is she going to react to that? Like, it's just like, even though she's the, she's, it seems like she has good morals. Right. I just feel like Melly could be a better president. Mm hmm but I don't want Melly to be And that's president. crazy because just a couple of recordings ago I said that I couldn't see it. But now yeah. I can. Remember you saying we really couldn't see Melly? That's because she was wild. The thing is, I don't bitch. want Melly to be the president. Yeah. Like, because the thing is, also with Melly, a person like Melly doesn't need that much power. That's true. Like, uh, she needs, she's going to get the power and abuse it. Did I already say who's going to be the first husband? What? I didn't say that. No. Who's going to be Melly's husband? She don't need a husband. She had one and he left her for his mistress. <sighs> um, so then we get to, um, you know, them showing Michael and with the baby. <laughs> I think Michael's Ella's mom now. I'm not sure. Michael is Ella's mom. It was nice to see uh, little Ella, but you know. Poor little James is probably. Michael's kind of in one. Grave. Michael's kind of on his lemonade shit. Like, he's just basically like, Cyrus, what time will you be home? Do you think you're going to be in late again? Don't hurt yourself. I don't know what's going on. Let me know. Cyrus leaves. Who does he talk to? Vargas' brother, which I forgot that him and uh, Vargas' brother was up to something. So, I didn't forget. You know, just know, Michael's been watching Lemonade at this point. Um, so then we they show Susan Ross and David, and they're showing how David has to sleep on the floor of the hotel rooms that they stay in because they're like on the campaign trail and together. And then she they, hates him. They're posed as a couple, but right. she hates his ass because he hurt her. I mean, and you know, I just, yeah. I just, I don't, I, I can't. But you know, another reason why I do not want. Susan Ross to be president is because I do not, I'm not here for, what's her face? Oh, Lizzie. Lizzie oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, and that would mean Lizzie, kill Lizzie Bear. Right. I need a kill shirt her. that says kill Lizzie Bear. Shonda, kill high. Kill high off the show. If anybody need to die, it was her. Um... So, the main thing about this episode is trying to get, um, the governor's the governor of Florida's vote. Endorsement. That's what, endorsement. That's what all three of them are trying to get because basically if you get her, Florida. her endorsement, then more you than likely Florida. you win Florida. And as we know in real life, Florida is a big deal when you're, you know, Everybody the election. Everybody needs to win Florida. Did Trump win Florida? 
I think so. It's a damn shame. Y'all is crazy. Who's voting for Trump? Don't tell me. The thing don't, is, not your name. I don't I'm saying don't. She's talking about of our Trump. viewers. Don't. They might be. If you because are, we don't talk comment. about him like trash. So I don't understand how you can watch us like us and agree with us and then also vote for Trump because he's against everything that I, he's against everything that I am. He be, he's against everything that I believe in. Like, no, he is an enemy. Okay, we won't even go there. Okay. So, like I said, everybody's trying to get the governor of Florida's endorsement. So they start rushing to hurry up and get there. Um, and then we bump into the elevator scene where Abby tries to get into the elevator with Olivia Pope and Quinn. And Olivia Pope puts her suitcase right there to stop Abby and says she can take the steps and then shut the elevator door. I mean, it was a lot of people last night tweeting, like, who the fuck do Olivia Pope think she is? Olivia Pope. Olivia fucking Pope. Abby fucking tried her. Abby tried it. I'm sorry. And this is like Abby's fourth time trying it. Because the thing is, Abby... Don't act high and mighty because I don't care how many times I have to bring it up. You know that Lizzie Bear is a re person who leaked. You have to let it I'm not. Lizzie Bear leaked Fitz and Olivia in the White House and that's your best friend and you didn't tell her. I'm your best friend. What you want to know? Yes. Exactly. She's a piece of redheaded shit. Like, I'm, no, definitely not. So they get to the um to the planes and you have the Air Force One plane for the pre with the president and then you have Melly's plane. Mm -hmm. You cannot fly into the air until Air Force One is clear. He uh, needs unless he uh, uh, unless he allows unless he allows you, but it has to be clear for him. So right. you have to wait for him. So what does Abby do? Abby makes up these fake mechanical issues and basically says, you know, y'all can't act. Olivia Pope she's already him. sent off. <coughs> What's her face? She's already sent Susan Ross off. Her plane is already gone. So, you know, Quinn, Olivia, and them, they're all sitting there waiting for the plane to leave and they're like, we were supposed to leave 15 minutes ago. What's going on? She calls Abby and Abby's like, oh, we're having, you know, mechanical issues. As soon as they're finished fixing it, you guys will be able to leave. I'm not sure how long it's going to be. Could be hours. I don't know. So she's like, but Abby, I mean, what kind of mechanical issues? And she's like, well, you know, it, it really doesn't matter. There's issues and you guys can't leave yet. So she's like, well, no, actually we can leave. If you guys are stuck, then that means we can go because y'all can't move. And she's like, well, we may, be, we about may be about to leave. You know, I could get off the phone with you and in five minutes they'd be like, Go on. So I can't take that chance. So basically, you're going to have to sit your ass down until I decide. And see, this just took me back to Olivia Pope in that elevator scene. She should have slapped her. Abby needs to be slapped, okay? Right. I don't care if y'all disagree. Some of y'all might feel like Olivia Pope is the one wrong. I don't care. Because the thing about it is, honestly, in real life, after I had saw Andrew face, I would have became Olivia's bitch. Anything she needed or wanted would have been there because my face wouldn't have been the next Andrew. Exactly. So, you know, Olivia Pope's like, okay, cool. Whole time, Melly's going to fuck off. No, I'm going to miss the governor's dinner because right. the governor is really big on lateness. So, the whole thing is you need to be on time for this dinner so that you can try to get her endorsement. Abby's in the fucking way. So, Olivia Pope calls some news reporters and it's like, you know, um, the White House is you know, making up lies, saying that there's something wrong with their plane, purposely to stop Melly Grant from getting to Florida. I don't that know what's going on. All the people. It's some shifty shit going on. All these reporters come to the airport. Whole time, Fitz Kerr don't know what Fitz the don't know what's going on. going on. So that's when Fitz busts in and is like, Abby, what the fuck is going on? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Abby's like, you need to go sit back down and let me do my job. See, you know what, Abby? I'm not, not yet. See, now, can I, can I say something? Okay. Else? Because the thing is, you don't understand your fucking role. You think just because you're the that you only are a monster when you have to be. Like you only got this job to be a monster. But as we try to tell you, ma'am, you are not a monster. 
Yeah, yeah. At all. Olivia Pope Monster shits on yours every single time. You're bullshit. And you know what the thing is, too? I was going to say it later in the show when I talk about it when she goes to talk to Fitz, but the thing what Abby is not realizing is that most of the things that Cyrus and Liv did when they were in the White House, Fitz, Fitz never had knew no about. Idea. He never knew about it. And they were just doing it. They were doing they it. Were they were getting the job done. The thing is, he wasn't seeing like Fitz would have never walked in. First of all, they... The, they would have never been able to call the paparazzi right. and tell them, like, they would have shut the whole... See, the thing about it is, they wouldn't have faked no ma mail, um, like, mechanic shit. Yeah, they would have broke shit. Literally, Cyrus would have went <laughs> under that fucking plane uh -huh. with a sword uh -huh. and went uh -huh. up crazy. Exactly. He would have pissed on it. Exactly. Anything, he would have pissed in the... And, like, the when you get fuel, it doesn't matter. Because yeah. he's that savage. Exactly. See, that's the thing. She has the thought. She has the brain, but she doesn't have the savageness. And you know what? Back in the day, it was Cyrus with the savageness, but Olivia, Olivia pulled, with the brain. pulled the strings. Exactly. She was the puppet master while he, like, she literally had two hugs, honestly. But like, we need to go back to that type of scandal because that type that's, of scandal that, that, was the shit. That's what like, I'm saying. Like, Olivia Pope was running things. Cyrus was, you couldn't trust him, but he was kind of her right hand man because he knew that whatever she was saying was really right. right. So as long as what she was saying was like going and keeping him a job, he was there for it. It was like, fuck whatever Melly had to say, it's us. We're running the show. But the thing is, she don't have a side. You don't have, you're not savage and you don't have any strings to pull. So. Right, like. Sit down. Red, sit the fuck down, Gabby. So, which takes me to the next thing that almost made me stop watching the episode. Olivia Pope's just sitting there looking out the window. Quinn and Huck are sitting in the corner. Quinn looks at uh, Liv. She's about to say something to her. Huck is like, not right now, Quinn. Don't do it. And, you know... Because you already... Quinn is not one to follow directions for too long. She just can't bite her tongue. At all. And she I can't. like it about her, yeah. though. Especially with Olivia Pope. Way I, back in season two, she, was, she wasn't she was biting her tongue. I want to know why I'm here. Exactly. What am I What am I doing here? How did I, How get, did here? I get here? You know. Tell me. Like, she's never and been scared of Olivia. Don't tell me. I will find out. Right. So it's just best that you, you tell me. me. Because if I find out, I'm going to fuck shit up trying to find out. So tell me. So, you know, she's basically like, why aren't we doing our jobs? Like, why are we just sitting here? If, you know, like, why are you fucking basically, all of this Basically, why up? you ain't sent us to get Abby's ass yet? I don't understand. You know, and Liv, you're supposed to go with me over a cliff. Anything that I need to do. You want to go We can't go over a cliff. Because we're at a fucking standstill. That's what you don't understand. Nobody can go over a cliff. Well, you sit here looking at the cliff. We trying to go over the cliff. But we stand still. Because you're not telling us to do anything. We know what to do. We know what to put in place. You're not doing your fucking job. So Huck is like, this is where it threw me all off. Because th this is what he want to know. Why aren't you out saving Jake? He wanted to slide his question in. He's like, fuck it. That made me mad with Shonda. Quinn, I wasn't even mad at Huck. I was like, Shonda, what the hell? Quinn got her question. I, I got to get mine. I don't understand. Why would we save Jake? I just, I don't... Jake wasn't even in this episode. We didn't need that line at, at all. all. Like, it's annoying. It's so the thing annoying. is... Because the thing is, I can understand that she has feelings for Jake, and that's fine. She was on his baloney pony. Of course she has feelings. Oh the thing about it is, she doesn't have to be in love with him. Like, that is what annoys me so much. Is because even though Olivia's supposed to be the strong woman that doesn't need a man and doesn't want to settle down, literally she always needs a man in her back pocket. It's annoying. We aren't that type of women in 2016. So then, one of my new favorites, yes, I'm saying it, one of my new favorites was starting to win me over, Marcus. I, I said it, I said it, look, Girl, it came Marcus. out that Columbus Short uh, drug test came back that he's still on coke. Tiffany, he's not coming back, so I'm going to have to, is, Tanea, Tiffany, the thing is, Tanea, I'm still being loyal, but I do like a little bit. He needs help. <laughs> 
and he can't get it because his wife is still talking about him like he's trash. He's a black man. He needs help. I told him he could live here tonight. He, he didn't, didn't get the message. He didn't get it. So, yes, I mean. Okay, so listen. Marcus, be hers. Marcus goes to Melly and he's basically like, you need to just go out there. And she's like, I can't do that. Like, I can't just go out there. He's like, she's like, well, I mean, she's like, I can't just call him. He's not talking to me. He's like, yeah, but what if you go outside in front of everybody? He and wave his ass down. Right, he won't just, hey, you know, stand you up in front of the paparazzi. Hey, old bae. So what does old bae do? Big Zaddy come out in the big... Hold on. And his little navy, navy jacket, jacket, like, curls on fleek, like... What up, bae? What up, boo? Millie Rockin', <laughs> all that. And then he So yeah, he gets out there, they start talking, and... You know, they're just going back and forth. She's like, <laughs> but they like posing beautifully. He you need to make sure. Oh yeah, no. First, he's congratulating her. Like, right. you're doing really good. You know, and Melly's Smiles. like, who knew I needed you? I don't. I didn't even need your endorsement. He's like, I know. I saw you. I'm really proud. Of right. You. <laughs> Money shot. Meanwhile, she's like, you need to move your plane, okay? You need to move. You know, she will now. talk between them teeth. Quit. And you need to stop letting that redhead bitch tell, tell you, you what, what to, to do. do. Because you want to know why? I allowed for Olivia to tell you what to do because she was riding your baloney pony and I was endorsing you because I wanted to be something off of your political exactly. career. But now I don't need you. So right now, I'm going to need for you to stop letting other people other than me and Olivia tell you what the F to do. Oh, only me right. and Olivia boss you around. Exactly. That's the only person I'm Get that bitch in check. Get her in check. Who did she make the joke and say she would kill him? She said, she said, oh, she was like, this is not between us. It's between them. And she said, and let's be real. She'll kill her. Right. She'll kill her. And he was like, don't be insensitive. But see, he, she was saying figuratively. Right, right. She was just saying like, figuratively. Know. She didn't know. So he's like, she's like, don't be insensitive. And he's like, she's like, what? And he's like, you don't know? And then he had And she's like, me. know what? And he's like, Andrew. That was Olivia. And she's like, I thought that was Liz. She had been talking about it all day. He's like, no, it was Liz. She was like, well, she sent one of her people to do it, right? She did it with her bare, bare hands. hands. <gasps> you should have told me. Right. Melly! And the Academy <laughs> Award goes to bitch. This ain't about you. See, now last night when I saw it, I wasn't paying attention so much that I was like, what the fuck would he tell her that? I was all mad. Then I'm like, oh, he had to tell her. Right. He really didn't know. So he's. She so should have like, got back on that plane like, I found the movie because see, you were going to fucking kill that. Bitch. Right. Like, so nobody knew. She was like, we have to do something like. She's not herself. She's not running. She's not swimming. She's, she's not, not eating, eating wine. She's not sleeping. She's not eating popcorn. She's not herself nothing. right now. She won't get a rap. So nothing. So what does Fitz say? She's not running. She's not eating. She's not sleeping. Melly, you have to make sure that she sleeps. He see the thing about it is yes. Olivia Pope got this man's heart in the chokehold. You have to make sure she. Like, I'll do whatever you want. Just make sure she's eating. Move the fucking Move plane, the bitch. Move the plane then, bitch. Not just for Hold me. Hold on. Either. Voice deep. Move the plane. Wait a minute. And this just isn't it for me. When she did that deep voice, I really feel like she needs an award automatically off of that. Off of that. She can make her voice go high, low, any octave within talking. It's amazing. She should be like a ventriloquist. So Fitz ends up moving the plane. You know, he goes back in, like, tell him to move the plane. Abby's like, but sir, he's like, shut the fuck up. Down. Shut Buck the fuck up. up. Buck you going on this ride. Today. You didn't talk enough. Yeah. Fuck off. We leaving. That's it. That's it. Ain't nothing else to talk about. Because I'm the motherfucking president. Balls, bitch. bitch. So what happens? The plane moves. They get so at me. They go back to Melly and Liv. Liv's like, no, that you're still going to be an hour late. This is not going to work. Melly's like, well, what do you suggest we do? Do you have a fucking suggestion? You sitting over there looking out of a fucking window. What's the next move? Because then? I went over the cliff. So Liv's like, shit. Picks up her phone. Turn the plane back around. Plane comes back. We all going on a ride. We all going on a motherfucking ride. They get 
to the um they get to the dinner and that's Nene. Nene, Nene. 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 so don't pick up on the video. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't want to copyright. So um they get to uh they get to the dinner, they show the dinner, and you know Susan's looking pretty uncomfortable. She really don't fuck pretty in no way. You know what I mean? Like she done already threw shade at this bitch. She done pretty much the only right. politician she really likes is Fitz, and she had to get to like him. Yeah. That's she, why um, she doesn't need to be the president because she can't rub elbows exactly. with the people phony she don't people. like. She can't be phony. And sometimes you have to you get more bees. Right. Behind. She's very blunt. That's another thing with her too. Right. It's not gonna work. Yeah. I just thought about that. So yeah. Anyway, you don't have the personality to be president. Meanwhile, Hollis is just. I mean, he got the governor laughing. He can. They eating. Blah blah blah. Her little assistant, whoever she is, is like, I just got word Senator Grant is here. Well, tell Senator Grant to go because that bitch is late. It's dead. She's no. like, Well, no, it's not that simple. Yes, it is that simple. Is Mr. President! I didn't know you were coming. Wait, let me get Melly a seat. Let I just want to apologize for Melly being late. I'm so sorry. Fine. Make sure she sits right here. Yes, Melly with the motherfucking baby blue suit. You Go up, a, outfit change. Strings. Big Daddy. So, yeah, I got it mixed up. So, actually, Susan throws the shade after they're all at the table. Yeah. Because as soon as she throws the shade... Abby drinks a glass of wine and then she goes to pour some more and Liz snatches it from her and oh drinks the rest of that shit. She feels up. Nobody fills their glass up of wine that much at dinner. I can't. Um. So that's when they go to the scene with David and Susan in the hotel room. Now, now that I got to watch that work, I understand the song a little bit because they were like playing like um, a, a Baptist uh, oh, song. Oh, Baptist hymn. Yeah, I, I didn't know what was going Praise on. Praise and worship song. So now I understand because it was almost like they were they were refreshing. I was thinking of a good song from Lemonade. Which which part of the um, Lemonade are we at where Susan is in this we, um, that she, uh, Are we at um, Love Drought? Or Forward? We're at Forward. We're at Forward. We're at Forward. And she's basically like you know, it was really good. Oh, because did I talk about that yet? I'm sorry. David was approached by the governor, and she basically told him, if you don't do this investigation on the sugar factory or sugar company, I'll go ahead and endorse Susan. So he's like, I can't do that. I'm the fucking U.S. attorney. Like, he wears the white hat. She's like, well, the choice is yours. You know, so when they tell, when they're talking, she, he's talking to Liz and Susan about it. Susan's like, no, don't do that. And he's like, I, I can't do that. And she was like, you know, later today, she was just like, you know, it was just really good to see that that person that I felt for is still there. Like, you're still honest. And I really like that. And then she's quiet. And she's just like, you really hurt me. And he's like, I know. And I'm sorry. You I will never hurt you again. And then you know, she, that's my, one of my favorite things. Yes. 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 You hurt me. I know. It's so disgusting. I love that. So then David's on the floor, she's in the bed, and they just hold hands. And then you, 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 you and me girl in a mountain. That's what starts playing. Uh -huh. Um, so then Cyrus comes home to Michael. Michael's sitting in the bed on his hold up. Love oh, me, you don't hurt what? yourself. I'm sorry. She's not at that. She's not She's forward. at Sand Castle. Okay, okay, okay. She said she wasn't getting back with that ass. So where's Every Michael? Every promise don't work out that way. <laughs> where's Michael? Michael. Oh Is he at Don't Hurt Yourself? Hold on. I'm trying to think. How... Whisper it. I really don't know because. um. He had the first song. I pray you can, yup, he I, might be. I pray you catch me with the spirit. I pray, that's what he's at the beginning. Now he's walking around with a fucking bat. Hold on. <laughs> what song is that? No, what's the Beyonce song that we like? Which one? Hold up. He got hold up. Me and my baby gonna have a good life. Yup, he did. He took the fucking baby. Okay, so the first scene, in the beginning of the episode, he was at pray, I can pray, I can pray. Yes. Cause he was asking him, he was like, what time do you want to be home? I'm trying to, I'm trying to work this out. You right. gotta pray. Right. I'm trying to get it right. Because you're not, like, you're not helping me. You, you better pray. I cut you whispering the right thing. Or, the you're gonna have to hold up. 
This is when you know you're really a beast and we've took lemonade and bought it to Dissected stand too it. much. Okay, so he's basically like, you know, you said you were going to be here at 12 and you said if you were going to be late, you call. And he's like, well, I forgot to call. I mean, the fuck? I forgot to call. And he's, you know, Michael's just nitpicking, nitpicking. So he's like, well, what, what's really the fucking problem? Like, what do you want, Michael? He's like, I know you're cheating. No, first he asked them. He said, are you, are you cheating on me? And he's like... What the fuck are you trying to say? And he's like, are you cheating on me? Just say it. Just say it. I Tell want you to say it. So Cyrus is like, I'm sweeping with someone thing. else. Let me tell y'all something. Even though the person says, I know you're sleeping on me, I know you're cheating on me, let me know. Tell me. Don't tell them. That confirmation. Especially not in that moment. That confirmation They go well. crazy. Mm -hmm. You should have been like, of course not. And then maybe a week later after they calm down, you know what? I yeah. just want to talk to you about. Yeah. You don't. In the middle, you just threw liquor on a fire. So, you know, Cyrus is like, yeah, I did. And Michael's like, how could you, you know, how could you break up our head? Cyrus home? gets real mad. Blah, 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 blah. Real Yeah, nasty. so Cyrus is like, you know what I need? I need somebody who knows how to play their role. Not somebody who's going to be coming at me about me sleeping somebody, sleep with somebody. I'm trying to save the fucking country. And you're I'm asking, asking me who I'm fucking with? I need somebody who's going to put in a little extra effort to get me off. Cyrus, you little old nasty ass. So Michael's like, you're a fucking monster. I'm taking the baby and I'm leaving. <laughs> And what does Cyrus say? It's not your baby, it's Jane's baby. I tell you who motherfucking baby is. Me and my baby gonna be all right. We gonna live a good life. Cyrus, you played yourself. Cause not only at the end, just let me just skip to the end. Not only <laughs> did he leave and pack up all his shit, he took baby Ella the fuck with him too. Me and what my you boy about been? to stroll up. You played yourself. <laughs> Don't play yourself. <laughs> when you play me, you play yourself. Don't hurt yourself. So anyway, after he said, you know, that little scene, he basically goes to, you know, Vargas' brother and gives him this little, uh, what's it called? Those little discs you put in the computer now. Who? Cool. Who gives it to him? Um, Michael gives it to Vargas' brother. Oh, that little, The um, little memory stick. Yeah. Gives him the memory stick so basically he can have all of the details on Cyrus being involved in that whole shooting event that happened in the beginning of Vargas's, you know, running campaign. Yes! Yeah, Don't fuck with me. How you need the goodie. Don't fuck That's with me. That's amazing. Head. I didn't see that part. Okay, but it's... Don't, don't get too excited, okay? Oh. Um, so then they go... We get back to OPA and... You know, they just found out that Hollis won Florida. Right. After all of that shit, after all of that trying to stall the plane, all of that bullshit, Hollis won. Even without the governor's endorsement, Hollis won. That's the, it, it just oh, that's real. what I forgot to say. Susan ends up getting the endorsement. Yeah, and the thing is, that just goes to show you real life. Because Florida is a Republican state, and they picked... Hollis Doyle's, I mean, because all, all three of them are Republican, but Hollis Doyle's Republican country bumpkin ass. Right. Like, so, as soon as this happened, I missed that part last night, too. Olivia Pope gets mad, picks up a glass mug, and throws it at the wall and cracks the shit. And all of them just look at her like, what the fuck? Is wrong with this bitch. Yeah, she's a nut. So then that takes us back to which I forgot to mention. So in the beginning, Cyrus and Vargas were trying to think of different ways that Cyrus Vargas and the brother were trying to think of different ways that they could kind of put a wedge between Edison and Vargas to get him, you know, get him above him. So the brother suggests we need to bring kids in. Edison doesn't have kids, and we should bring up your daughter with cancer. We should bring her in it because that'll make America, right. you know, run more towards the heart. And he was like, no, like, hell no, you need to think of something else. This is when the pictures leak. Vargas gets an email or something, the pictures leak of him and his daughter in the hospital because it's like a big secret. Nobody yeah. knows. So, we're like, you know, he gets mad. He flips out when the brother pack his shit, get the fuck out. The brother pack his desk. He like, I didn't do it, I swear. He leaves, Cyrus pulls to the side, gets on the cell phone, like, thank you, everything worked out, good, we got this, Michael. Michael, what the hell? Michael, Michael, I thought that we was team, we were leaving, I thought we was at hold up fucking shit up. What? Yes. 
He gave him, Michael gave him a memory stick, but whatever the memory stick was, when he stuck it in the computer, halfway to loading the information on it said error. So what it really did was leak pictures on there of the little girl with the cancer, and it went to the reporters. But I still don't understand, though, because that skips back to the end where I said, when Cyrus got home, Michael had packed all his shit and left with the daughter. Right, so... So I don't get it. Or maybe he thought he was just buying time. I don't maybe know. Maybe that's, that's what it crazy. was. crazy. I can't believe you did that. Right. See, because the thing about it is I love Cyrus, but I'd be so ready to shit on him because he is plain evil. So this is when we get to, um, you know, Huck goes into Liv's office. She's having a drink. And, you know, he's like... We need to talk. And she, no, first she 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 played him. You know, She's, Huck is just one of those people where you just kind of know the things that he does. He comes in there and stands there and look at her. If you just want to stand there and breathe, then and live. That was rude. You know he likes she to stand there and rude. just breathe and be mysterious. Right. But anyway, he's so, weird though. so she he's like, I don't think you should be at work. You know, the first time you kill someone, it sticks with you. I know you aren't sleeping, or if you are, you're having bad nightmares. I was trained to kill and to cope with it. You weren't trained to do that. So you should be home trying to grieve and get over this. And she's like, No, I don't need that. I'm fine. And he's like, Yes, you do. They're going back and forth. And she's like, I haven't slept as good as the night that I killed Andrew in a long time. I enjoyed it. I loved watching the look on his face when he was dead. Said, I, I loved, loved the blood, blood on my skin. face. I loved beating the shit out of him watching his soul leave his body. She didn't say that, but that's what she said. But see, because you know what? And that goes to show she needs to get in some type of boxing. Yeah. Or something yeah. like that to help her out. Get some she of the anger out. She needs some fucking therapy. She's angry. She's well. She see, it's nothing worse than an angry black woman walking And I was really like... This bitch has lost it. Like, I really didn't know where things were to go. And Huck was like, so he still was just standing he there. And he, she was like, he was like, what else? And she was like, <laughs> my father told me that if I tried to save Jake, he would kill him. And I just can't have another body on my hands. And I don't want him to win the game. It's a second one. <laughs> And then Huck holds her from the back like, it's going to be okay. And she's like, Aah! The thing is, she really needed that because... She broke down. Everybody needs that Ayanla hug. Woo! He held her from the back, too. Come here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I was happy she had the breakdown. She really needed that. And the very next scene is when Abby talks to Fist, and that's when she came there like... And Abby has her breakdown. You let me do my job. If it was Cyrus, you would have let me do my and job. And this is how I know you're not ready for this job. And then she just starts going into, you're punishing me. It's not my fault that she killed Andrew. It's in her hands. You're it punishing my yourself. Fault. Oh my God, she must have been so scared and afraid and alone. And he's like, Abby, sit the fuck down. Let's talk. Right. Like, because the thing is, I'm not punishing you. You're punishing your damn self. I don't have anything to do with that. Now, I do agree a little. Now that I think back on it after I was watching that part, and then I thought about the first part, he kind of did turn the plane around and do all of that shit for, for Liv so that Liv wouldn't snap again so that she... He went to war for her. Of course he would. I mean... Like, the thing is, like, I mean, he did... He... he Melly played it like, don't do it so she won't snap again. But we already know. Any, it could have been any excuse he would have turned that plane around for Olivia. But like, at the same time, why Abby really felt like that was because he did the same. I mean, because she, she fucked up with, Aunt, I mean, with the first thing. You remember as soon as she went over Olivia Pope's head and tried to put out the fucking White House and took things into her own hands, Liv was like, okay. And that's when she went and killed Andrew. So he was like... Abby done fucked up, fucked up Nelly's campaign, see, fucked up all Olivia's work, so she she's about to snap again. I don't need that shit. So he went over her head and did that. And that's he, why Abby's like, sometimes, it's not my fault. You're punishing me. No, you sometimes you have to go over, you have to go over their head when they think they have too much power. You have to sit them the fuck down. And see, the thing is, Abby needed that. At that moment, I agree. Because too. Abby has really lost her fucking mm -hmm. mind. Abby really thinks she can walk around and do anything she wants to do. Because that's what she saw Cyrus do. That's what she saw Cyrus do with Olivia. Olivia pulled them strings, and what did Cyrus end up getting? Fired. 
tired. Like, I mean, but I can understand both sides. So it did make a little sense. I mean, understood. it makes sense, but you also have to think. He's not punishing you. He's not punishing you. He's just helping Olivia. You're punishing yourself. True. So, you know, basically, he's like, look, you need to think. Pretend that that place is real. And you need to drag yourself from the darkness and stay there. That's the only thing I can tell you. That's what I did when I killed Verna, okay? So that's what that. you need to right. do. Chill the fuck out. Right. Pull your shit together. If you're this savage monster that you claim you are. That's how she, I know she's not ready for the job. So, I mean, Only time really Olivia Pope went into Fitz's office crying is so she could cry to get him to do whatever the fuck she wanted him to do. Like. So, um. Yeah, so like I said, Hollis won Florida, and then we find out that David actually did go ahead and help the government. I mean, didn't go forward with the investigation about the sugar. He dropped it just so Susan could win, and she still fucking lost. So right. what I'm hoping is Susan don't find I out know. because that was like what kind of pulled her back to him just a smidge. So I think if I was him, I would literally go to Susan like, look, I did it. I did it because I really wanted to help you. I just wanted to get it out there. Like, don't lie to her again. Please don't lie to her. No. I can't. So, um, that's when Abby, I mean, Liv gets back to the office and Abby's there. She's basically like, what the fuck are you doing here? She's like, why are you being so mean to me? Bitch, why are you, you treating me like a child? Why are you calling me little Abby? Why are you treating me like we aren't equal? And Abby's like, I mean, Liv is like, listen, I want the White House, okay? And I'm sorry that you happen to be a part like of, you, the, a, of the opposite team, the opposing whole time, team. Because you're my friend and I still love right. you. Right, I love you. I'm your friend. I support you. But that's not what my savage. Right now, you're in my way. Like if you weren't in this, I'd be right there helping you. But I need to win We're because opponent. I refuse to lose anymore. So I'm sorry that I have to trample all over you. But this is what it is. Hey, I mean, what do you want me to do? I mean. Th if, if that's exactly right now she's working against the she's trying to she was win. like this is the i built that oval i built that president up i, I ran that shit i got him to be president twice. twice that's my shit i'm trying to get back up in there and you trying to stop me sorry girl bye hey so then they cut back oh no so that's I'm when they sorry. um that's where we live at they had cut back to when, you know, Cyrus came home and all the shit was gone. He caused it. I mean, Michael was like, where the fuck you at my daughter? Bring my daughter back. Bring my daughter back now, nigga. Ain't your baby, bitch. But Michael ain't answer the phone. And then they switched back to, you know, Abby and Liv. And Abby was just like, you know, we need to figure something out. And Liv's like, I know. And then they both like, we should have did such and such from the beginning. They're like, we need to take down Hollis. Right. That's our next move. We work together to take down Hollis. And then we go, can go against each, each other. other. So. They should have been did that. They should have been did that. Shonda. Shonda. They didn't think to do that anyway because Hollis is trailing behind them anyway. True. But now with him winning Florida, like, that came the ball game. So we only have two more episodes from the, from the season finale. This was a pretty good episode, but that little Jake, that little piece of Jake pissed me off. I'm glad that I went back and watched it because I got a much better understanding. So hate and love people. Um, let's start with hate. I hate Abby. I don't care. Yeah, I definitely hated Abby. I hate Abby. I hated, um... I hate Elizabeth North. Definitely. She's, she stays in hate forever. She's mm -hmm. never going to go to life. Right. That's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, I'll drag the governor, and she's not a character, but she can go. I hate her. I hate I her. I didn't fuck her. Um, love people. I'm going to say my love person was Marcus. Girl, um, Huck. Boat. Shut up. Marcus, Huck, and Fitz. I'll definitely say my love person was probably Fitz. Um, definitely Huck. And I'm going to go ahead and give it to Quinn. Mm-hmm. You being petty right now. Hi. Marcus really did something good tonight. He's in yours. Why he gotta be in I'm mine? just telling you that you're being petty. Like I'm, I'm not saying not you gotta being switch him petty. Up. <laughs> I'm not being petty, but I don't love that nigga. Right. I don't got I can't love him. So, like I said, two more episodes from the finale, and I'm excited. Um, I'm excited because I need a break from scandal. Like, I need 
Because right now it's irritating me. Because honestly, right now she needs a break from standing because it's beat season. And that's another thing. It's, it's honestly it's too, too much. draining. It's draining. To worry about both, and not to mention Drake just came out. Oh now. my god! So like it's it's hard to split your bro- your brain three ways. Yeah. So so I need a break. I need a break, and I need a break from doing late night videos. So I can go back to doing two regular videos because so much is fucking happening. I need to be able to report twice a week on regular entertainment news. So because y'all, this the second time or the second or third time y'all done got three videos in a week. Yeah. So shout out y'all. to yeah, and before I go, shout out to the people who watched our last video about Beyonce. Um, I read all of the comments. I'm going to try to come and reply to some, but there are so many comments. Right, it's so many comments. So many comments that I really couldn't keep up along with my other social media. So I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody. My official shout out and talk about it will be Monday. So I will see you guys Monday for an all new video. If this is your first time watching, we'll be here every Monday and Thursday. For a scandal review for the people who have been watching, make sure you continue to share this video. Share it with a friend. Tell your mother, your father, your sister, your cousin, your brother, your uncle, your bestie, your boss, your coach, and your side chick. Tell Becky with the good hair. Tell her about the show. And I will see you all on Monday for all new show. Take them out. And if you didn't know, now you know. There's no place, no other show like the show. We give the best scandal reviews. We give the best Beyonce reviews. We just give the best reviews. We give the best advice on life. Oh my God. We, it's popping over here. It is. Come to this channel. In the show. So much coming. It's so much going on. You want to be a part of this. I'm trying to tell you. I'm putting you on right now. It's The Rock. I'm out.